Used as a pursuit craft by the bounty hunter Spike Spiegel, the Swordfish II was originally designed as a high-speed transplanetary racing ship built for extreme acceleration and high-speed maneuvering in competitive sport. Though now converted for use in combat, the ship's racing attributes continue to serve it well, resulting in a deadly, albeit somewhat unstable, attack fighter. At a length of 13.8 meters and a wingspan of 13.3 meters, the lightweight frame of the Swordfish II presents fixed rectangular wings connected to a sleek and narrow primary hull. The vessel is lined with unique thrust vectoring systems and high-energy RCS thrusters, as well as numerous aerofoils for use in atmospheric flight. The ship's primary propulsion system is a single aft-mounted nuclear fusion aerospike, backed up by a sizable booster nozzle configured to serve as a short-range impulse drive. The vectoring ring around the main engine serves as a powerful thrust reverser and allows the ship to kill its velocity and reorient at frightening speeds. The combat-converted Swordfish 2 is armed with four wingtip-mounted Genom LS9 machine cannons, capable of maintaining a rapid stream of armor-piercing ballistic fire across medium range. These weapons are supported by an aftermarket M3C Devastator plasma cannon, jury-rigged to the ship's ventral frame on a large mechanical gimbal. This weapon is designed to be carried by a far heavier craft, and often wreaks havoc with the swordfish's structural balance and aerodynamics. But when employed properly, the cannon can allow the swordfish to inflict serious damage on vessels far larger than itself. Finally, the Swordfish 2 features a number of hardpoints for ship-to-ship -ship missiles, extending the vessel's reach to prevent even the fastest targets from escaping intact. Like most civilian spacecraft, the Swordfish 2 is equipped with the Mono Navigational Operating System, allowing the craft to tap into system-wide navigation and communications networks for easy transit and traffic control. This system also provides high-detail avionics and tactical analyses in combat situations, even extending to ECM and missile events. Invasion. These are not the only countermeasures carried by the Swordfish, however, as the ship is loaded with a supply of chaff canisters and phosphorus flares for neutralizing approaching ordnance and even disorienting hostile pilots. The Swordfish 2 is capable of vertical takeoff and landing by means of its thrust reverser and ventral maneuvering thrusters, with the ship being well shielded for re-entry and environmentally adapted for use in any climate. When stored aboard the Bebop or in other landing bays, the Swordfish takes advantage of its articulated wings to reduce its required deck speed space and make the primary hull more accessible for maintenance. The pod-like cockpit module of the Swordfish 2 is completely modular, allowing it to be used as an escape pod or to be exchanged with the cockpit module of other small vessels should the situation demand it. In both its early life as a racing ship and its later career in bounty hunting, the Swordfish 2 has distinguished itself as an almost perfectly refined and masterfully crafted space plane. The ship has survived dogfights with entire squadrons of military-grade interceptors, endured orbital re-entries at dangerous velocities velocities, and even engaged in combat within the hyperspace tunnels of the Astral Gate Network. Much like its owner, the Swordfish 2 has found itself diverged from its original purpose, but there is perhaps no vessel more fitting for the life of a space cowboy. Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.